It's footage from more than 60 years ago when nine African American children entered an all white high school in Little Rock. Among them, Elizabeth Eckford, who managed to stay composed despite the screaming and taunting. Tonight, Eckford is in South Florida, and she's here amid the changes happening in our state's education system. Many believe those changes are an attack on African Americans, and we wanted to know if the civil rights icon agrees. CBS 4's Gabrielle Arzola went to find out. It's a picture etched into American history. Elizabeth Eckford was one of the first black students to go to a historically white high school. And tonight, she shares her story. I've had a very, very ordinary life. Ordinary? Oh, yes, I have. At 81 years old, Elizabeth Eckford may be humble about her life, but what she's had to endure. It was nothing short of extraordinary suffering. It was 1957, and Elizabeth was part of the Little Rock Nine, the first black students able to go into white schools. And while talking to me, she recalls those moments like it was yesterday. I heard someone say, let's hang her get a rope, drag her over to the tree. Other people were threatening me. She was just 15 years old and lived her teenage life being threatened, spit on, and yelled at, all because of her skin color. The PTSD is something that still carries on to this day, but she fights through it. <laughs> to talk to people around the country, like Tuesday night in Coral Springs, on what she's experienced and continues to experience more than six decades later, but the teachings of certain black history topics have been a point of contention for Governor Ron DeSantis. Last month, the governor removed a new AP African American Studies course that included things like queer theory and advocated for abolishing prisons. We want education, not indoctrination. Where do you stop talking about what's real? Where do you stop? She disagrees with the governor's actions, saying it's dangerous to remove pieces of history. We should be taught proven history. But still has hope that this history won't be erased. Uh, there are many people who are pessimistic about the future of America, but I'm not. We could never have true racial reconciliation until we honestly acknowledge our painful but shared past. I'm Gabrielle Arzola, CBS 4 News, tonight.